Hey guys, it's Mark with uh, Hawkeye Ordnance. We are uh, talking about the new Tacom product, the Doolin Deuces. So I've been using these for a little bit. On uh, Actually, I'm on the new uh, Safari Land belt here. I'm doing some T&E on the uh, ELS system, which we'll get to later. But um, we've got the uh, Tactical Shotgun Championships coming up at, uh, for the Nordic Components uh, match next weekend. And I need to add a third of the dual induces, so Tim at TACOM was nice enough to hook us up with one of those. And so we're going to put this guy together and throw it on the belt. Alright, so we've got the uh, instructions here with the packing list and the instructions. These are super easy to put together. The only thing to be kind of mindful of is, you'll see in the diagram here, one of these pieces has the three holes pressed in it as opposed to the other one which has two, and that just denotes that this is the side that's going to accept the, the brass portion of the, of the shell. Okay, so just going to verify that we've got the right side based on the ones I'm currently using, like so, and then we'll use these four kind of long tap screws here to uh, screw this together. So then we are, uh, like I said, we're going to be using the ELS system, so I'll grab one of these plates. All right, now, um, this one's a little interesting. See how we're going to do this, because you'll notice that with the, um, the current ones I have in here, I've used the angle of the ELS lock, the 35 lock, in order to um, get the, the right angle I like. And I really do like these at a, you know, kind of a slight angle. So when I'm pulling them, I'm having to kind of rest my thumb because I'm going to grab the shell right there and pull them all up. So I don't want much of an angle because for me what's really, really worked well um, and it's making it possible for me to do the quads is having to angle my wrist just right with these. Um, what makes these interesting again is the, is the degree, the angle at which they come out and what's worked out really, really well for me is being able to grasp these. It's almost like my fingers can't go any further than this particular bank of four at the bottom here and so when I go in to grab them as long as I've got my top thumb over that top shell there and I pull the whole thing out um, using the angle and using a little bit of the leverage on the top here of this of the top four, um, they just seem to come out just right and load into my hands. Now, um, this is a new one here. I've practiced quite a bit with these two and my sort of, uh, my mode of operation is, is to, I've got nine dummies up here which I load as my top one. And then what I do is I cycle through the mix of um, different loading practices. So, you know, I might uh, load four, right? And then cycle through those. And then switch to an eight banger. And get on target. Now, obviously, I'm slowing the down. But I don't really have much to prove to you. I just want to make sure you know <clears throat> you see how to do this. Right? And then here's the real question for me is, is this last set over here the right angle? Not bad, but you know, I think what I'll end up doing is working my way from the inside out. The one thing I'll say about the Delron is, is when you first get them, they're very tight. So um, I probably, if I could avoid it, wouldn't buy them and then go to a match the next day. Um, I'm going to run as many rounds through this as I can the next week. Um, I don't know so much that they get any looser, but it seemed to come out slicker after some time. It's almost like you're polishing the plastic um, with the uh, with the shells. So. Um, I'm going to you know, roll in a montage of different uh, practicing I've been doing over the last couple weeks getting used to these. I'll leave the failures in so you can see the process and I'll catch up with you on the other side. We've got a medic to induce coma to the swallow of his brain How will they need it? So Nick, I'm going to die. He won't die. He won't die. He won't die. He won't die was going to have to color his own reaction. Although U.S. Special Forces didn't touch him here in the of his borders, some do-gooding hits like So what I found the trick to be with these is 
use this camera here. So my top thumb goes up over the this shell, which is going to be the second one to go in. So this this row right here will go into the gun first, right? Is when I come down, if I've got a good purchase on that, and I actually lean a little bit against the top set of shells, um, and I pull out using that sort of 30 degree angle that the tacoms are on, when I pull the whole thing out, they end up like this in my hand. This one goes in first, and I can push through with the thumb. Now you see, that would be considered a miss right there, because this one is overlapping. Where I should be is like this. And if I get them like this, they go in every single time. So I'm still uh, using the um, AP Classics. I've yet to find anything better than this for the good, simple, putting a couple slugs in. Or, um, you know, it's a, you can make a case that dismounting the gun for anything less than eight shells is uh, <clears throat> not such a hot idea. So I keep up, you know, for those 12 round reloads or something like that, I keep up that technique. I also, every now and again, throw in a match saver um, when I'm working on, uh, on all the different ones. So for me, like, I do 10 sets of all three carriers. And that's kind of my, my daily practice getting ready for the Tactical Shotgun Championships here coming up just next week. So maybe this time we'll do a, we'll do a match saver. So um, my dummy rounds are uh, in really bad shape, so they, they're not terribly fast going in, but... It works. progress. So with every loading system it's just about muscle memory. It's about doing it over and over and over again until it's, you know, three gun shooter proof, right? So uh, back in the old days uh, I was a drummer. I went to school for that and uh, the one time that uh, drumming still shows up in my life is uh, the stupid faces I make when I'm loading guns. I don't know if you guys know any drummers, but we all have these really, really silly things we do with our mouths and our jaws while reloading. So the one thing I am, uh, I am figuring out is occasionally they don't come off just right, but um, I'm learning how to just you know, kind of squeezing my hands around and getting that second set to uh, seat correctly. Because the, the failure on the load doesn't happen when you're putting the shells in. The failure on the load in quads happens when you're taking them out and organizing them in your hand. Because if they're not parallel, or if you don't have your pinky two fingers over that, the, the bottom set when you're setting the top set in, um, <clears throat> they get out of alignment and then you'll end up jacking them through. So it feels like the, the problem's happening when you're putting the rounds in the gun. But really what's happening is, is the alignment is incorrect to begin with <clears throat> and you're nowhere near being right. So it has no idea, matter really how much force you put on it or the speed or the angle. You're not going to make that load happen. All right, so for practicing with these, since I use two styles um, for loading, what I do is break them into sets just like I would if I was lifting or something like that. So. Um, for every one dummy shell, and there's, this, like I said, nine up here, I load once off each device, right? Sometimes I'll throw a match saver in um, just to, you know, kind of sp speed things up or s keep things interesting. But um, what I'll do is I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And so I'm working back and forth between all the different carriers. So, um, you know, with the uh, match saver, Alright, 
and that's one set. So I run that, uh, you know, five or ten times um, daily before a big match. But that's what I've, you know, sort of had to do to get caught up with these new uh, loaders. And I'll be honest with you, I love them, guys. So um, there's a bunch of great products out there, and Tacom, of course, has always been one of the top innovators in this particular uh, bit of the industry. But um, you know, don't just count the other ones. This one happens to work incredibly well for me, and so I recommend it based on that. So if you have any questions or if there's anything else we can do, certainly send us a message. Leave a comment below, sub the channel, like us on Facebook, HawkeyeOrdinance.com, of course. We look forward to seeing you out on the range, and God bless.